Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today here as you can see I have the Apple iPod Nano 6 generation and I'm trying to connect my iPod with iTunes on my computer but it's actually not showing up my device. If you're having the same problem with any other iPod then follow these two easy steps to fix your problem. So let's get started. Well, so here I'm using my Windows 11 computer and first thing first, you just go ahead and make sure your iPod is turned on while you are connecting to your Windows 11 computer and make sure to use a very good USB cable and also make sure your iTunes is up to date. So first thing first, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my iTunes from my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and connect my iPod with my Windows 11 computer. Well, so once I connect my iPod to my iTunes, here as you can see, it's not showing up my device over here, but I get a pop-up over here. It says the software record for communicating with iPod, it's not installed. Would you like to download and install now? If you're getting this kind of pop-up on your computer, you need to download and install first. So I'm just gonna click on download and install. It will start it updating the software and hopefully this will fix your problem. If it asks for permission, you just go ahead and give the permission. Once you are done with the iPod support installation here as you can see we have successfully got our device over here well so after doing this process if you are still not getting your device then follow the next process in the next process I'm just gonna go ahead and close the window from here and then just go ahead and open up your search bar and type device manager go ahead and open up the device manager from your computer and from here you need to find out the portable devices so here's you can see the portable devices so we're just gonna go ahead and click on this arrow button in order to expand this one and here you'll get to see your connected device name so I have connected my iPod so it's showing me the iPod so now to update the driver from here you just go ahead and right click on this name and then click on update driver it will give you two different options click on browse my computer for drivers so from here you just go ahead and click on browse so after that you just go ahead and expand the local disk then go to the program files and then common files and then Apple and under the Apple you'll get the mobile device support and under the mobile device support you'll get the driver so you need to select the driver folder from here and then go ahead and click on OK. And once you select with the location, you need to go ahead and click on Next. So after doing this process, just go ahead and close the window from here. Once you're done with this process, you just go ahead and eject your iPod and reconnect with your device. And once you're done, you just go ahead and open your iTunes and hopefully you will get your device back on your iTunes. So guys, this is how you can fix your iPad is not showing up on iTunes. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one and thank you very much for watching.